cover. So, ang isa sa sa mga magandang natutunan ko dito ay yung changing positions during pregnancy. So, the proper way of sitting, standing, lying down para safe para sa inyo and safe din para kay baby. Kasi, tama-tama rin ngayon, meron akong instant props. Malapit na rin ako mga anak. So, tama-tama itong video na to para rin sa mga mommies na ramdam na yung bigat ni baby. So, getting down on the floor. Sabi dito, okay, when you get down to the floor, okay, nakatayo kayo, di ba? So, kailangan, let's say, kailangan yung may gawin sa floor. So, from the standing position, fold your knees first. Magninil muna kayo. And then, you use your arms to support you as you shift your weight to the side. Tapos, tsaka nyo ibaba ang inyong legs. Yan. Making sure that your back is straight. Now, how do you stand up naman from this position? Babalik ta rin nyo lang, luluhod kayo ulit. So, you lift your knee up, use your arms and hands to lift yourself a little. Okay. Knee, and then use your hands and feet or, and legs Legs, mommy, sa to lift yourself. Okay. Okay, next naman is pag matutulog na kayo. So, how do you move from sitting down to lying down? Okay? Hindi advisable na humiga lang kayong basta ganyan because you will hurt your neck and your back. So, sabi dito sa libro, what you do is from the sitting position, you use your arms again to support yourself slowly. Turn to your side first. Okay? Tapos, tsaka kayo pipiyaya. Ayan. Okay? And then, when you wake up naman, when you want to stand up, hindi advisable, huwag kayong babango ng ganito. Huwag kayong babango ng ganyan. Mahirap and masakit sa leg. So, what you do is, you roll to your side. Helpful din to kapag papacheck up kayo sa OB guy ni si Dibak Net, papahiga kayo dun. So, instead of standing up right that, or reaching out with your arm, what? What you do is, you roll on your side, like so. Okay. And then you prop your arm to lift you. Okay. Prop your arm. Tapos, tsaka nyo, tsaka kayo bumalik sa sitting position. Put your hands on your lap and then push down so you can lift your weight up. Can you lift or can you not lift things when you are pregnant? Ako, <laughs> medyo challenge yan for me kasi I have a toddler, di ba? So, he likes to be carried. So, what's important here in this book is yes, you can actually carry but you do you have to make sure that you can. So, kailangan tansyahin mo muna yung weight nung bubuhatin mo. And you have to fire up your core. What does that mean? Um, um, I'm no expert, okay? I'm no expert. So this part, you have to check with your personal trainer or with other experts when it comes to this. But as I understood from the book, you have to fire your core and sustain. What does that mean? Alam niyo yung feeling na nagpipigil kayo ng ihi. Imagine niyo yung puerta niyo, uterus niyo, 
from this position, igaganon nyo siya. Isasara nyo siya. Can you feel it? From, from the opening of your puerta, from your pepe, down pataas, i-crunch ninyo. That, that feeling is firing up the core. Ah, well, as for the pregnant, for the pregnancy, okay? So, you do that before you actually lift something. Okay? You fire the core and you sustain. And, aside from that, you keep the load close to your body. Huwag kayo magbubuhat ng ganyang kalayo. Kung magbubuhat kayo, ilapit ninyo sa center of gravity ninyo. Okay? And then, finally, check that the load is not too heavy before lifting it. Magpatulong na lang kayo. If you're not sure that you can, patulong kayo. Patulong kayo. When going down the car, move your feet and legs as one unit and use the handlebars and the side of the car to lift yourself up. 